example of independent variables, the number of law enforcers, the number of robberies for dependent Hello guys, this is Teacher Ryan. Today, we're going to study the independent and dependent variables. Variable specifically refers to characteristic or attribute of individual or organization that can be measured or observed and that varies among people or organization being studied. Creswell 2002 So, ito po ay mga characteristic or attribute na minemeasure natin doon sa individual organization depende po sa ating pag-aaral according to Creswell Next Independent variable are usually called predictor or criterion variable It is known as the cause o siya po ang dahilan Can stand alone They are not changed by the other variables Later po may sample tayo Ayan Example of independent variable age, gender, what people eat, how much time they use gadget. Dito, makaka-apekto ito sa mga variables na susunod nating babasahin. Nakaka-apekto ba ang age? Yes. Nakaka-apekto ba ang gender sa pag-aaral? Yes. What people eat, nakaka-apekto rin yan sa pag-aaral. How much time they use gadget. So, sa study natin, makaka-apekto rin sila. Ano naman ang dependent variable? Are usually called outcome or effect variables. Ibig sabihin, ito yung resulta nung uh, cause o dahilan. Kanina may independent tayo, ngayon naman we have dependent variable. The researcher's subject of interest o subject ng pag-aaral ng researcher, they depend on other factors. Example po nito is test scores, growth of plants, kung pag-uusapan po natin is experimental uh, research. So, test scores. Kanina, balikan natin yung uh, independent variable. Di ba? Ang age, gender, pati yung habit mo sa paggamit ng uh, gadget is makaka-apekto sa test scores mo. So, para malinawan pa natin, example, sa experimental, does amount of sunlight affect the speed of plant growth? What is the independent variable? What is the dependent variable? Nakita natin. Alin kaya dito? As we can see in the picture, does the amount of sunlight affect the speed of plant growth? Tingnan natin. Yung controlled sa ka-experimental. Sa experimental natin, nandun yung sunlight yung amount of sunlight. Sa control naman, uh, halaman din, nandoon yung pot, yung soil, and water. But in uh, experimental, meron doon sunlight. So, ang independent natin is yung sunlight or amount of sunlight at ang dependent naman natin is yung plant. After one month na naaarawan or mas uh, nandoon ng araw sa experimental, and then, Titingnan natin ang magiging resulta. So, independent is yung nakaka-apekto at yung naapektuhan naman, dependent, is yung halaman. Example naman sa phenomena. Sa climate change, independent siya. Ano ang epekto niya? Yung uh, sea level. Kung natunaw yung yellow, tataas naman. Kung uh, sobra namang uh, init din, yung pagkakataon, nawawala naman ng tubig. Violence on street. The number of law enforcers, independent siya, makaka-apekto siya sa dami ng robberies. Kung marami ang mga enforcers, pwedeng mga unti naman ang robberies. O kung uh, kakaunti naman ang enforcers, darami naman ang robberies. So, dependent is siya nga yung resulta. Example of variables pa related to poor academic performance. Entrance exam score, students and teacher ratio, number of hours devoted to studying, teaching style, educational attainment. Sample ng uh, title natin, although 
pwede itong makritik o mas mapaganda pa natin. The impact of using eSport in teaching ICT programming course in senior high school. So, ano ang makakaapekto doon sa kurso na ICT? Yung pag-aaral ng eSport. Kung dapat ba siyang ilagay, ano kaya ang magiging resulta? So, ano ang independent natin? eSport. Ano naman ang dependent? Yung uh, programming course. Kung ano ang magiging uh, resulta nito or outcome nito kung ituturo ang eSport. Next is using competitive reading games to improve reading comprehension of elementary students in blank school. So, ano ang gagamitin natin na independent? Yung uh, reading games Ano ang magiging epekto nito sa reading comprehension naman ng mga bata? So, that is a simple uh, meaning and lesson that we have in uh, independent and dependent variables. I hope that you learned something from me. Again, this is Teacher Ryan. Maraming maraming salamat po and please subscribe to my channel.